Although AMD did pounce on Intel and take the top spot in CPUs, in GPUs, they have been pretty reluctant to do so. We've seen them a couple times be pretty aggressive with graphics cards, but for the most part, they've always kind of been okay being second place as it seems. But the 9070 XT, yes, the 9070 XT AMD's new graphics card is coming out soon. It's coming out this year. I think it was delayed all the way till March, actually. We gotta talk about it. Why did AMD delay this graphics card? The 5080 just came out. Isn't it supposed to compete with that? Guys, let's talk about it. First off, I gotta say, the 9070 XT, everyone was excited about this GPU. It looked like it was gonna be the savior for budget mid-range gaming this generation. And actually, it was supposed to come out on January 28th, I think, by the leaked documents, maybe a January 20 something, 22nd or something, I'll put it up on screen. But yeah, so the 9070 XT should have already been out by to that now. But for whatever reason, AMD chickened out and Guys, let's just be real here. Do you really think that AMD delayed this graphics card to further develop um, AI image generation and drivers? I, I think that's what they said they were doing. They were polishing these things. It was supposed to be launched at CES. It was supposed to be announced at CES, but AMD was shaking in their boots. They were scared of what Nvidia was gonna launch and what Nvidia was gonna do. And let's be real, Nvidia's 5070 at $549 is probably a little bit cheaper than they thought it was going to be. They were probably thinking the 5070 was gonna be 650 and they were gonna price their graphics card at 600. Now, if they price their graphics card at 600, well, the 5070 is undercutting them by $50. But not only that, after seeing 5080 reviews, it looks like Nvidia's cards, all but the 5090, are gonna be have very modest improvements in performance. So this leaves AMD in a really weird situation where they don't really know where to put this 9070 XT. If the leaks are to be believed about this 9070 XT, it is on the performance level of a 4080 um, in raster performance, maybe even around 7900 XTX in raster performance, which is insane. But the closest graphics card that is getting to that with Nvidia's 50 series is the 5080 at the moment. The 5070 Ti may be a little bit closer. So we're looking at a graphics card that Nvidia sells for $1,000 and AMD is gonna come out with this other graphics card that, I mean, where are they gonna price this thing? It's a 70 class GPU, but it has 80 class level performance from Nvidia, but it is an AMD GPU. And guys, I gotta say, DLSS, the trickery, the magic they're doing with DLSS now, it cannot be understated. DLSS 4 with performance looks better than DLSS 3.5 with quality at 4K. So do the math. I think that's an extra 30% more performance you're getting for using performance mode over quality mode. So essentially add 30% more performance for a 5,000 GPU or a 4,000 GPU that can use this new it uses the transformer model. A 7900 XTX is more equal to something like a 4070 Ti because it uses DLSS and it will have an identical image to a 7900 XTX at native when it's using DLSS. If you've got that 7900 XTX and you've used FSR, it would degrade the image and it wouldn't look the same. What about the performance of the 9070 XT? Because, well, the 5070, sure, it's at 550, but if the 9070 XT has way more performance, it could sell for 600. And I get your point there. Think about that level of performance in a 70 class card. It is exciting. I mean, AMD really could give gamers the goods this generation, but guys, let's rem let us remember this is AMD we're talking about. They never miss an opportunity to miss an opportunity. In consumers' minds, they see an NVIDIA graphics card that is a 70 class, it's $550, and they see an AMD graphics card that is a 70 class, and sure, they could price it at 550, but it's probably costing them a lot more to make. It has more VRAM, it has a higher bus width, and it has more performance, probably more die area. So AMD's kind of locked themselves in with the naming scheme for the 9070 XT. Really, they have here, because if it's on a 4080 performance level, right under a 5080, literally 10% less, I mean, technically they could charge more money than you know, 550 around the 5070 level. Now, me personally, if AMD really wanted to take some market share, win the hearts of gamers here, well, I just hit my mic, 
and win the hearts of gamers here, they need to price this thing at 550. They need to just match the 4070, make this a, or a 5070, make the 9070 XT a 5070 competitor at 550, maybe even $500 if you wanna be really aggressive. But I understand tariffs are coming in and all that. And call it a day, you know, you have more VRAM if FSR is good and only if I would recommend it over the 5070. But guys, DLSS is a real, real um, buying option or it's a selling point now. But guys, if your card doesn't have something akin to DLSS, it's garbage in my eyes. So yeah, basically, if they wanna be competitive, they gotta price this right at the 5070 level. Even if it is right under a 5080 in raster performance, I think DLSS at this point is, a, you can't ignore DLSS, you really can't. Ray tracing has become more and more de demanding in these games, um, and DLSS is becoming more and more of a necessity, AI upscaling. And FSR, from my testing, it's just not gonna cut it, dude. It doesn't look nearly as good. It adds way more ghosting, and it's all, blotchy it's, it's it's noisy it's really really noisy dlss cleans up the image over native and it looks great so i know this is kind of a hot take but amd needs to price this thing as a 70 class card they named it a 70 class card i think all along their plan was to price this thing um you know closer to like 550 but after seeing nvidia and how um unperformant the 5070 is gonna be. I think AMD is gonna be very tempted to price this thing closer to a 5070 Ti, probably even, maybe even above it. Like they might wanna to try to price this thing at $800. And guys, this thing is not gonna sell well at $800, AMD. Listen to me. Do not price this thing above 650. Or not even, don't price this thing above 600. This thing needs to be 550, period max 550 period it needs to match the 5070 in pricing period it has a little bit more vram that's one selling point um it has more memory bandwidth that's another selling point and then it has um it has more performance than the 5070 so it has more vram and more performance in the 5070 at the same price that's your selling points there the 5070 has a lot more positives than that even though those are two big ones that we just listed the 5070 is going to have better uh, professional application performance. It's gonna have better, um, you know, upscaling and AI performance. So all these things really matter um, to the general consumer and it's also gonna have way better market share. Everyone's gonna say, get the NVIDIA card. So AMD, if you wanna turn people over, you wanna turn people on to Radeon, get this 9070 XT out. If it really is 4080 performance, no more than $550. If it falls short and it's 7900 XT performance, I don't wanna see this thing above $500 get out of the room if it costs more than 500. I see a lot of people in different forums and things saying they're gonna let this cook and they're gonna actually bake in FSR4 to RDNA3 cards as well. And guys, I've seen many leaks. Somebody actually did a diver dot driver, <laughs> diver. Somebody did a driver dive into the 9070 XT's drivers. Apparently they're leaked or something and Seemingly, they confirmed that R uh, FSR4 is only going to be on RDNA4 graphics cards. So if you have a 7900 XTX or any other RDNA3 graphics card, sorry for you. It doesn't look like you're going to get an FSR upgrade. Some of you guys are built a little bit different when it comes to AMD, and I've, I've seen that in the comment section. Are you holding out for the 9070 XT after seeing these 5080 benchmarks? I mean, guys, I can get why you're really disappointed about the 5080. I definitely am, but it just gives me more security in my 4080. It's gonna last me a long time, especially with all the DLSS upgrades. That was just my thoughts on the 9070 XT. AMD delayed this thing. Is it kind of broken? I mean, guys, it may be. Why is it delayed so long? Also, Delaying it, I mean, have they already shipped them all here? I've heard rumors they've shipped a lot of them here. And that would make sense if they did that before tariffs. But if they're still trying to ship them in, these things are gonna cost a lot more with tariffs, you know, 20 to 100% tariffs on these uh, computer components hitting the US. So guys, let me know in the comment section what you think below. This was my thoughts, Silicon Steak, signing out. Attack. Ever review every spec he's on deck from GPUs to CPUs he knows it all no question too big no detail too small he's got the knowledge he's got the skill when he drops his take the haters stand still fanboys can cry but they can't deny silicon stakes truth cuts through the lie